thoughts while like I'm in blackface. Sometimes we laugh, sometimes we cry, but I guess you know. Hey guys, what's up? It's me, Cece, and welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome. I hope that you would stay, subscribe, and become a part of the Fashion Cista family. Here over on my channel, I show you how to be your baddest bitch at an affordable cost, and today we are here with another Worth the Splurge video, but this time we are reviewing the Morphe Light Form Extended Hydration Foundation. Morphe was kind enough to allow me to test out their foundation. It is available now, today, as of February the 15th. So I'm sure we'll probably be at your local Ulta's. At best, you guys can check morphe.com. They did do a very good job of showing you guys tables of all the different shade families. It does come in 36 different shades with five different shade families. So you are guaranteed to find something, if not something close for your complexion. I was sent three different shades, Rich 29N, Deep 31W, and then Deep 35W as well. They were also kind enough to give me their new brush, which is the Morphe 101 dual ended complexion brush and I use that to apply the products today so you guys will also hear my thoughts on the new brush as well. I just want to make sure that I get off all of the claims just in case I forget to mention them because you guys know once I've been filming all day I'm not sure what I said or did not say so I want to make sure that I let you guys know in the intro if you guys would like to skip ahead which I don't really advise doing because I'm probably going to say something that you guys need to hear as far as the claims but if you guys need some towel marks Markers. everything will be stamped down below in the comment section if you just want to jump to a certain part of the video it does claim to wear up to 16 hours it is a long wear foundation it claims to be waterproof as well as sweat proof the foundation also claims to have two percent hydro relief complex I did have to pull it up and make sure that I'm not telling y'all nothing wrong and it says that it is biomimicked active blend that redefines water balance in the skin providing both short-term and long-lasting moisturization moisturization comprised of whoa why was moisturization beating us like that that's crazy natural moisturizing sugars natural moisturizing humectants and hyaluronic acid if you guys know anything about hyaluronic acid baby you need it keep your skin looking juicy and nice and just healthy so i'm very interested to see how it's going to last throughout the night it also contains a vegetable glycerin and that claims to act as a humectant and it helps to slow down the dryness while replenishing the skin's moisture which is great a lot of people who have dry who have oily skin don't really like to prep their skin because for whatever reason they feel like if they add any type of moisture it's going to make the foundation slide off the skin even more and that is not the case the skin actually produces more oils because it feels like you're depriving it of it so if you are an oily combination girly or just an oily girl period i promise you if you add in some products to moisturize the skin or even just using a foundation like this that does claim to be hydrating you will be just fine and you might actually like it a lot better than your matte look and your mattifying primer so trust me on this one. so i think that that's it pretty much for all of the information i need to give you guys if i didn't miss anything all the information that you need to know about the foundation will be listed down below in the description box along with direct links to the foundations that i received as well as the brushes oh last thing the foundation does retail for 20 dollars. you guys know that i'm obsessed with the soft focus the soft focus filter effect foundation from morphe as well so for the same price point i don't know y'all might be able to stock y'all kid up because I'm, I'm already interested in seeing how this is going to last throughout the day so that way i can go ahead and pull that plug and get the rest of the foundation so yeah that is it i don't really think that i have anything else to add i'm going to go ahead and jump into the review because i know that that's why you guys are here and i will see you guys in the next clip Leave it to me to be trying out a new foundation on Valentine's Day. In my defense, the one that I received from the original agency that reached out to me to review this foundation, the shade that I was sent, I know is probably way too dark for me. And then today, I literally received the two foundations that I was supposed to re actually review for 
um, the company that's requiring me to create content for them today and the foundation literally launches tomorrow not that that's any fault of morphe literally ups was holding my package for like three days why i don't know but they're here and we're going to test them out in the package they also were kind enough to send over their morphe 101 dual ended complexion brush which i will be using to apply the foundation after i'm done completing the swatches but i do have the foundations here i have not opened them i haven't cracked the seal or anything so we are literally going to be testing this out for the first time together just to see if it's worth the splurge for you guys to spend that money so just from first glance at the bottle it's looking like 31w is probably going to be the closest to my shade I got Rich 29 in because I am more of a neutral tone. You guys know that I use a mix and pigment to neutralize a lot of my foundations. But like I said, this is, I got what was available that was close to my complexion. So we're going to cross our fingers that one of these work. I'm going to actually go ahead and swatch them in order. So the first one that I'll be using is the Rich 29 in. It says that it's buildable medium coverage. So we'll see here goes the first swatch so that's 29 in which if I blend it down it wouldn't be a bad match but y'all know I like my foundation a little bit deeper so hopefully this one that I'm picking up right now is gonna be this one is deep 31 W Deep 31W is a little too red, honestly. Something right in between these two being mixed together probably would have really worked for me. And that's more than likely what I'm gonna do is end up mixing these two shades together. But I don't know. Maybe if I leave 31W the way that it is and just highlight, I could probably highlight with this. Hmm. That might be what I do. And clearly just for kicks and giggles, because I know this one is going to be way too dark for me. I'm going to swatch Deep 35W and we're going to see just how rich this is. Now, this foundation hit. I got some deep complexion models that I'm trying to source for just my own personal portfolio purposes. And I feel like this foundation, if it's anything like that soft focus filter effect, it's going to be so good look at that oh my god it's so beautiful okay so what i am going to do i'm going to mix the 31w and a little bit of 29n together to try and give me my perfect shade i know that's not what y'all want to hear because now instead of getting the product for 20 dollars, it's gonna be 40 dollars. but again that's personal preference if you guys are anything like me and you know how to work that color wheel, then you can always get one foundation and then just highlight with something that will balance it out. I'm gonna go ahead and wipe these swatches off and then I'll be back to show y'all my mixture and then we'll do the initial, um, just my initial reaction with the brush and the actual product. And as far as the brush I'll be using to apply the product, I did mention to you all earlier that Morphe was kind enough to send over their M101 Light Form Dual Ended Complexion Brush. So that is what I'll be using to apply the product today. So it comes with a foundation side of it as well as a concealer side of it. So I'm super excited to see how it's working and it, it feels really good on the hand. That 29N mixed with that deep 31W. Perfect. I will say, even though I only have half of my face done, um, it feels super lightweight. They meant, when they said light form, they literally meant light form because I don't feel this on my face at all. Like it literally just feels like my skin, which makes me really excited. And you guys saw I didn't use any type of color correction. So it is balancing out my skin pretty well. What's really gonna tell the truth is this discoloration that I have right here in the center of my forehead. So if we see that disappear, then we know we know ball. We 
cooking with grease. The discoloration isn't completely gone, but it's definitely not as prominent as it was beforehand. So, initial thoughts, why I look like I'm in blackface? That's one. Two, I love how just light the foundation feels on my skin. I had an exact match. It would look just like my skin in a bottle. That's the best way that I can describe it before I go in and put everything else on it. I can definitely tell that this is medium to buildable coverage because I do still see some of my imperfections and personally, I like my foundation like that. I like to be able to see my skin and just be able to see a little bit of my imperfections. Like I'm human, I'm not trying to look like a porcelain doll. I'm gonna go ahead and finish my face and I will be back on camera. I'm not gonna hold y'all. Um, <laughs> this brush will probably be better for like blending out my chin. I'm just not used to using a small brush like this. So I don't want y'all to form y'all opinion based upon how I feel about it. Because like I said, the brush is super soft, but I just like to cover more ground. I just wanted to come back on here and show y'all that I did use it or attempt to at least. And yeah, I'll probably reserve this for more of like my nose contour or something. Cause baby, I feel like the smaller the brush is, the more, hold on, well look, not me speaking too soon. I don't mind it for blending out the concealer down the sides of the nose. I actually do really, really like it, which means that more than likely now I'll just be using two brushes for my concealer blend out. But as far as covering big spaces, like my big old forehead and my chin, I'm gonna need a brush that's just a little bit bigger. All right, so I'm back. My hair is down, the look is complete and almost ready for Valentine's Day dinner. But as I told you guys, I will come back and check in with you all just to give you guys a few more of like my initial thoughts with the foundation. I don't believe that it made a claim to be mattifying, but it is giving me a very matte look. And again, whenever I pair these same products with any other foundation, it doesn't necessarily look this mattified. So I'm not mad at it. It definitely looks good. It does look flawless. Y'all already know the true test for me is one, seeing how long it's going to last. But two, what it look like on a photograph? Because if the foundation don't look good in a picture, I don't care. Like I, it does claim to be long wearing up to 16 hours, sweat proof and waterproof. I mean, I won't be putting any water on my face, but we will see how long it lasts. I'm typically oily right in the t-zone area as is any other oily combination girly so hopefully I like this foundation I was running low on the soft focus filter effect foundation and if this is a hit this will be my new go-to foundation so I will check back in with you guys later on tonight I will check in with you guys and let you guys know how the foundation wears right now it is currently 603 and I still have the whole night ahead of me. I still have some pictures I have to take, other content that I need to film. So I will check back in with you guys in a few hours to let you know my final thoughts on the foundation. All right, as you guys can see from how I've come on here, I haven't touched up anything. This is what we have so far. It's currently 11.49 p.m. So it's been almost six hours of wear. I'm back home. I'm clearly in my comfort clothes. Hair just curls, gone, face greasy how it normally is. So I wanted to come back on here and show you guys the very raw and authentic look at what it looks like for me to not touch my face up at all. What I will say is while I was out eating, I didn't really have any issues as far as the face was concerned, but obviously now that I have been back home for some time and I did go ahead and edit the first half of this video. So that way, once I was done, I could just plug this part in and make sure this review is up tomorrow when the foundation actually launches. So this is all the oil that I've accumulated. I believe that I mentioned before that I'm typically oily in my T-zone area as an oily combination girly. 
so what I like to do is keep one of these little triangle puffs which clearly y'all can tell that I use this one a lot and then if I need to especially while I'm out I'll just take it and just pat down the corners of my nose the center of my forehead just anywhere that I am creasing it may not be like as good as new but it does help control the oils so I will take that for almost six hours of wear and that's all the oil that I have accumulated in my t-zone area this foundation gets a thumbs up for me I would give this foundation out of 10 just because of how beautiful it looks I look flawless on camera if I do say so myself I would give it probably like a 8.5 out of 10 and the only reason why I say 8.5 out of 10 is because I can tell that the product is definitely breaking up just a little bit around my mouth and I didn't eat anything crazy for the product to start breaking up around my mouth um so yeah I think that that might just honestly that might be my only hiccup but as far as me keeping this foundation in my collection it absolutely is here to stay and I absolutely will be going back to get more of these foundations to add to my professional kit and then as far as the brush I do think the brush is amazing personally I just like a bigger foundation brush because I feel like I'm able to cover more ground quickly I did like the concealer portion of it because it does help fit into those pockets to blend out the concealer in a more effortless and flawless way I just don't know that that brush is something that I would use religiously for me because like I said typically whenever I'm doing my makeup I have maybe 25 30 minutes at most unless I'm kind of just in here just playing around and I feel like the smaller the brush the longer it takes me to do my makeup but fill aside blend aside how well it pairs with the foundation 10 out of 10 whether that will be something that I'm consistently pulling for maybe like a strong 7.4 out of 10 I definitely will be using it though just for the sake of that inner corner because I love the way that it blended out I just again prefer a bigger brush so if y'all can give me this same concept and something that's bigger for both ends y'all really might have a winner for me but yes that is it I never received um a price point for the brush so I'm not sure how much the brush costs but the Morphe Light Form Foundation does retail for $20. I will have all the links down below in the comment section for you guys to purchase if you so choose. And if you do, definitely come back to this video and let me know how you feel about the product. I definitely know that I'll be updating you all on it or you guys may just casually hear me talk about it in another makeup video. But that is it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you so much Morphe for even giving me the opportunity to review this you guys know that I love Morphe here almost all of my palettes are Morphe palettes all of my brushes are pretty much Morphe brushes my setting sprays everything y'all know the love runs very deep over here for them so I'm excited to be working with you all and yeah thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you all in my next video Bye. was on the dance floor working down one time then I went for more physical action what's happening now so I just see I'm playing